It's a mom bun type of day. All right, one last view of all of the Christmas stuff because it's coming down today. So sad, but I am really ready to take all of this down and then kind of let it breathe for a few days because as you know, we are going to be jumping into Valentine's Day afterwards. I ended up getting two new bins, that one and that one. And these two I had, and I'm really hoping that I can get this done all in one day, but if I can't, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because the nursery is fully decorated and then I have some stuff in my bedroom. So we're just gonna kind of take it one step at a time. And I have some paper towels, my tape, and some stuff to clean. So you already know if I have to preset all of this, that it's gonna be quite a video. But I'm gonna start on the entertainment center because that was giving me the most anxiety about taking stuff down, so I thought that I would just tackle that one first. But it wasn't too bad, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing with this. I don't know if I wanna decorate it more of a year-round style or if I want to go full Valentine's Day. I'm really debating it. Let me know in the comments what I should do because I have no idea but my Valentine's Day clean and decorate might end up being a part two because I want to decorate with what I have and then see if I need to get anything else. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't seen my decor haul yet, that is up on my channel right now. I can actually link that below if you want to see it. Go check that out because that is a fun one. And if you're brand new here, my name is Bella and I like to make homemaking videos, cleaning, decorating, organizing. Decorating is honestly my favorite, but I feel like that's just everyone's favorite thing to do around their house too. And I am the mom of a 17 month old, almost 18 month old little girl named Kennedy. So I decorate everything for her because I just love seeing her eyes light up and seeing all that magic and then all the memories of being a child around Christmas just flood back and it's so, so cool to see that through my daughter's eyes as an adult. And if you are brand new here and this is the first time that you are seeing one of my videos, first of all, thank you so much. I really appreciate that you're here and I would love for you to consider sticking around and subscribing so you can join our amazing little community here on YouTube. Getting this advent calendar countdown into its storage box was definitely a time. I'm gonna have to remind myself next year to watch this video back so that I don't end up doing it the wrong way, which you'll see in a second. I tried to put it in the top and then realized quickly that was not going to work. And then I got smart and I put it on the ground and I slid it in and it worked so much better. So note to future self, watch this back. And I really, really hope that you enjoy me taking down this tree. I'm laughing at myself the entire time because it was just so ridiculous. This is the first time I've ever taken a tree down, let alone by myself. So I had no clue what I was doing and I was just kind of winging it. I started by pulling off the ornaments first and that really wasn't going the way I thought it would. So then I pulled off the ribbon first and it's so funny when I end up folding up the tree because at certain points it looks like I'm giving it a big hug like bye Christmas see you next year. It was just so funny and I was again laughing at myself the entire time. Don't know where we're gonna be after and we do it all again and again and again and again again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we faded. Try not to laugh at me too hard. I have no clue what was going on with these lights. I tried to start at the top and just thought that I could wrap it around the tree and take them down that way, but for whatever reason, that wasn't really working. At one part, it does when I detach the first strand, and after I ravel that up, I'm able finally to walk around the tree and get the rest of the lights off but this tree was just messing with me I swear. 
Also, another super funny thing that I noticed watching this back, this tree makes me look like a giant. I swear I'm not even that tall. I'm like 5'4", five 5'3", five around there. And it's probably just an angle thing, but I look super tall. And here's what I'm talking about where at points it looks like I'm giving the tree a hug. It's so funny. For whatever reason, this decor takedown was just so like struggle city for me and I do not know why, but I think it happened during my Halloween undecorate, if I remember correctly, where things were just falling and it was a big mess and I really wasn't doing a good job. So I guess my undecorating is just cursed. Work it out. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Even if we go all out and break this down, then we can work it out. Alpha and Omega, Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Even if we go all out and break this down, I know we are Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Did anyone else just see that ornament fall off the wreath, hit me in the face, and then fall in the bin? If you're wondering, that's the ghost of my ancestors telling me how much of a bang up job I'm doing here. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you. Yay, we are all done. Just kidding. Still a lot to go. Now to get the coffee table undecorated, Kennedy was so confused when she came out of her room after this and she went immediately to this because she loves to redecorate or pull down and play with as I call it this coffee table all the time and she looked at me like mom where did it all go and I'm like oh, I guess the Grinch stole it which is funny because I'll put a picture right here but we got a new TV this day as well and she was so confused when she walked out and the TV was gone and the all the decor was just gone. I can't even imagine what she thought. Got a restless mind. And don't worry, I'm not throwing away all of the pillows. This was the only way that I thought to store them because I didn't want to take up extra bin space because that is precious when it comes to undecorating and storing decorations. Do you want to come along with me? Come along with me. Do you wanna... So I think I'm going to do is leave these white pillows out and I have a little basket going of Christmas toys and stuff, but... Ooh, it's super blurry. There we go. But I think I'm gonna leave those out for now. And the white blanket that goes right here is in the wash. I might regret putting these in here next year loose, but that seems like a future Bella problem. Next, I'm gonna take down the hot chocolate nook or hot chocolate bar, whatever you wanna call it. I've heard it called different things. And this is another one that I'm gonna leave blank because I'm not sure if I wanna just throw Valentine's Day onto this or if I don't. If I don't, I'm gonna end up putting my year-round decor back on it, but I might do that off camera. I'm just not sure. If you just wanna like boost me up in the comments and just encourage me to just throw Valentine's Day all over my house, I'm here for it. So let me know if that's something you wanna see. Now 
now for some super satisfying Keurig coffee maker cleaning. Now to move on to Kennedy's nursery and before I show you the huge mess in this room, I do want to let you know that there is another nursery declutter and organize coming up in the near future because her room just exploded after Christmas. I know that you can relate if you're a mom, but again, that one is coming soon. I decided to start with her snowflakes up on her wall and these were super easy to pull down. I just used some painter's tape to put them up on the wall and I'm just going to put them in a bag for next year. Moms, let me know if you relate to this. Do your kiddos have a bunch of Christmas books and toys exclusively to that season? Because I'm kind of just putting them with her seasonal decor. Let me know if you guys do something different or have a better idea on how to store them. Alright, so time to pack these toys. I have some Christmas books. That came from her bookshelf. I completely forgot the word for a second. There's her pink Santa hat. I have her trees over here. It's kind of figurines except this is like a banner. And then this is like some garland and her snowflakes and stuff. And here's a candle. So I'm having a little bit of a situation. I don't know why I thought the Kennedy's bin in her closet was empty, but it's not. So I'm gonna have to go to Target tomorrow and get some more bins. But I obviously can't do that tonight because it's too late. So I think I'm just gonna put everything on top of that bin that's in there that's full. And then I can kind of reorganize things in the morning. Probably won't be able to show that, but just know that everything's gonna get organized. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Yes. So to just get her room the bare minimum of cleaned up, I decided to stack this stuff on top of that other Christmas bin. I didn't realize that there were just a bunch of ornaments and stuff from the tree that we didn't put up this year, or I would have had another bin ready to go, but this is what I'm talking about. This decor undecorate with me is just crazy and all over the place. Alright, my last room in the house that I'm going to undecorate today is me and Matt's bedroom and I made my bed super lazily this morning because I knew that I was going to take all these pillows and stuff off today so that's the reason why it doesn't look so great but I think next year I want to do a little bit more in this room but this was all I could really do this year. I do want to put up a floating shelf above our headboard so that I can decorate that. I think that that would be really fun. I want to take a quick moment to remind everybody that my Valentine's Day Clean and Decorate will be out January 14th, so this Friday make sure that you are subscribed and have your notifications turned on so that you don't miss that because that one is going to just be so fun. We're going to have a ton of fun with that. Kennedy is going to absolutely love that. Her favorite color is pink and I just cannot wait to show you how much she loves our house and her room. It's going to be so pretty. But until then, thank you for being here, for spending this time with me. I had 
a kind of emotional roller coaster of taking down the Christmas stuff because I love this house since we moved in. I've just been loving this place and it was crazy that we went through our first Christmas already and now it is already time to move on into the year 2022 and that will be quite an adventure as well so I hope that you stick around for all of those changes because there are some coming up down the way and I don't want you to miss them and I hope you have an amazing week. Bye beauties!